I'm so happy to see this many people here. I was here last year speaking, and I want to thank Dr. Lassar and his wife, Tracy Lassar. They are special people because they, in, at least in my world, they fully understand the need for prevention, not just treating a symptom and then hoping it gets better. And thank you, Dr. Bailey. That was beautiful the way you spoke that. Who am I? I'm Edward Jones. I founded Nutrition World in 1979, uh, quite some time ago. I'll be 63 soon. And I've spent my entire adult life learning, watching, and educating myself on the relationship between nutrition, food, and disease. I'm an astute observer. And if you asked me what I had for breakfast yesterday, I would forget. But if you had come into my business a month ago, I would remember your conversation. And what I've done is I've watched people's health. I've watched them go from poor health to excellent, excellent to poor, and some go to death. And I've really plugged all the dots together to try to figure out ongoing what is it that truly is capable of extending quality life, not just years. Nutrition World, I have 26 employees. And I also have 13 practitioners. I am uh, passionately involved in creating a bridge between conventional medicine and thinking and whatever you call myself. I was a weirdo for many years, the hippie, the, the, the granola guy, the, the nutrition vitamin nut. That's all fine with me. It does not hurt my feelings because I had to serve those years in order to get to where I am now. And what I'm wanting to do is, and we serve about 300 clients per day and customers, whatever we call them. And it's so important because, you know, my deepest philosophy of life is that uh, I believe that the body has an incredible, magical ability to stay healthy and also to heal when it's unhealthy. But only if we give it and nourish what the body is asking for. And sometimes in the past, I think we all would agree that, you know, acute care medicine has such a beautiful role in helping people in, in situations and heart attacks and peripheral artery disease and UTIs and you name it. Who would, I wouldn't want to be in a world without it, but sometimes it's lacking on helping to educate and, and help the person become optimally healthy because they go back to their old habits. And they need people like Dr. Bailey in order to you know, spread the word of food is medicine. And you know, the thing is, it takes more than just that. And uh, let me flip over here, because which button do I hit? Uh, yeah. It takes more than that in order to create this thing I call optimal health. It's not just the food. It's the food. It's the exercise. It's the tribe. It's the sleep. And in my world, I'm a huge proponent of nutritional supplementation. There's a word called functional medicine. Functional medicine's kind of been probably put down in some uh, areas of, of, of talk of health, but there's a recent study came out just last week in the JAMA that really uh, was convincing of its power. Functional medicine, I actually came up with a term that I felt comfortable with that describes functional medicine. Why did it happen? Why did it happen? Uh, we don't always ask that question. We just sometimes say, it's the genes, it's the, your bad luck, it's whatever. But there are reasons for everything, almost everything that happens to the physical body within a reasonable period of time. Yes, at 90, it's, a, it's like a car with a million miles. It's gonna have some breakdowns. But there's a tree, we call it the functional medicine tree. And if we all recognize a leaves of a tree generally if they ever are diseased or there's, there's problems with that tree, it's coming from the roots. It truly is. It's usually not coming from the leaves. Well, these roots in the functional medicine tree at the bottom, of course, had to do with sleep and relaxation, stress, exercise, the microbiome, relationships, and in the functional medicine world, we also talk about supplementation. And that's the world I have lived in since 1979. And I did bring Jack Elaine to town uh, about uh, 20 years ago, and I got to stay with him, and he was the ultimate original guru of exercise and healthy eating. And it was beautiful. I actually have a plaque in my store that he sent me. Well, you know, what I'm talking about is prevention. And as you observe the root system up here, you can see that there's so many pieces of this puzzle. And it's not easy, probably, for practitioners of any level to, 
you know, you said 20 minutes with a patient, uh, Dr. Bailey. I, I know that is probably about average. How can we even talk about all of these things in two hours? We really can't. And the amount of people who come into my business at Nutrition World on Lee Highway, I, I won't say it's huge, but there's still people who say, what is a carbohydrate? I mean, how do we expect people to learn to eat better when they have such limited knowledge? And so what I've done is I've created, uh, hopefully, a bridge between um, you guys and you girls. And sometimes how it has to be frustrating because you see this patient, you know they need a team approach. They need partners. You can't teach them in 20 minutes how to eat healthy or motivate them to stay on that path. So we've created a wellness complex. That's what Nutrition World is actually now. It is a wellness complex. That's why I have 13 different practitioners and we have so many modalities. And none of which is acute care, but it's all on the prevention side. And so what we have is something called the Wellness Plus. And for $10 a month, your patients can sign up and get four one-hour coaching from my registered dietitian or from my other four coaches who all have specialties. We're not treating their diseases. We're coaching, we're educating, we're helping to motivate. And it has been a game changer. Let me tell you the amount of people who really uh, have just turned their whole life around. Because you know, we, you know, we know that treating a symptom is important, but it's not getting to the root of this tree. Now, one thing I will say to people when they come in, I mean, we have literally 10,000 products at Nutrition World, and it is mind-boggling to even walk in and then wonder, where do we start? What do I, you know, even from my perspective, where do I start helping a person say when they say, what do I need? What do I need to take? Well, I always start with a knife and fork. We gotta talk about your diet. But then secondly, what do I take? So I came up with something called the core four. And the core four is when I really looked at tons of, of my interconnective 40 years and I watched people, there is a core supplement protocol that I absolutely know if you have blood flowing through your veins and you're still breathing and you're above 30 years old, if you do this, you will be healthier. And it comes down to basically a, a very easy thing of multivitamin, the right one that does not have folic acid. It has to have methylfolate because of the gene MTHFR. Uh, a green drink. Why do we do green drinks and why do we eat green foods? It's not for the nutritional content, people. It's for the P450 system generally in the liver so that you can detox all of this glyphosate, all of this cl uh, chlorine, all of this stuff that's going into us at massive levels. It's not getting out. It's not that we have to stop putting it in. It's we got to open the faucet, people. You do that through green power foods. You can do it through diet. Hey, I eat better than anybody out here in this audience probably as far as what I think is pure, and I cannot do it. I can't do it. So I have to drink a green drink. Probiotics, we know the microbiome. We talked about that. You listen to Dr. Bailey. And lastly, omega-3. In several studies, omega-3 has shown to be the number one predictor of death in the next 10 years. I have looked at so many omega-3 tests of people who have gone to get uh, a further testing. My daughter being one, she just had a baby 18 weeks ago. Two years ago, she said, Dad, I want to get pregnant. I said, Katie, I want to test your omega-3. So she went and had it tested. No one, when I said no one eats better than me, she's better than me. Cooks at home. Everything's uh, wild caught. Takes all the supplements. On a scale of 1 to 10, her omega-3 was a 2. A 2, which means that the development of the infant could be compromised. We had to put her on high doses to get her to the optimal level, which is where we all need to be as optimal, not average. And so I've come up with the core four. Any of your patients who are, want to do this, they just go to nutritionw.com and you can see core four. They go on, they can click it and have it sent to them if they want and it's less than $100. And it will make a tremendous difference in people. Uh, I got to get this on. I want to tell you about this one gentleman. I named him uh, Jim. He came to me, 72 years old, and he had been shopping with me for 20 years. Very healthy guy, robust never had a health issue and he was on a pretty intensive supplement plan and i knew what he ate he ate very clean he exercised he had a family he had all the right stuff and he uh, i didn't see him for a whole year 
And he came in about six months ago, and he told me, he said, that they found a little spot on his lung. And so they went in, and luckily it was benign. They did surgery. But what the, the magic of this gentleman is, is he did a test called the Boston Panel at my recommendation before he, uh, he had that surgery. So we had all of these values from a functional medicine standpoint, lipoprotein A, homocysteine, fasting insulin, uh, uh, C-reactive, all these things that will denote where are you going with your health, not what's wrong with you now, but where's the chemistry heading for you? It was awesome. He was like a 20-year-old. He had that surgery. The doc said, I don't want you to take one more supplement for nine months. Well, this guy had been doing it for 20 years. Uh, but he honored the physician. So for 10 months, he did not take one thing. He came to me and said, I, Ed, I'm ready to start back. I said, no, I don't want you to start back. Will you go do that test again? I want to see what went on between the time you stopped it and, the, and before you started again. I have all copies of his blood work, and you can email me at nutritionworld uh, at comcast.net in order to, to get all of these copies, or you can go to this if you want to view it. Uh, it is life-changing to see what happened. He didn't eat different. He didn't sleep different. He didn't do one single thing. Everything went to the negative because of no supplementation. Uh, so, you know, we want to be the partner in this town. We want to partner with people who understand that we need to help these patients and coach them. Not, you know, we're not treating them, we're not doing any of that, but they need a coach, and we want to be that coach. So, thank you for listening today. If I can help any of you anytime at Nutrition World, it's on Lee Highway. We're there. I love Dr. Green because we do a radio show sponsored by Memorial. We've been doing it a year and a half, and we're bridging that gap. So, thank you for everything you've done. Thank you.